Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So long time, no lip swatch video. It's been a hot minute since I've come on here and done a review on a full lip product collection. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Jouer High Pigment Lip Glosses. Jouer was actually kind enough to send me the full lip gloss collection that just launched within the past week. And I have to say that these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Jouer has honestly become one of those brands that I get really, really excited about their new releases, especially that summer collection, the Skinny Dip collection. Holy moly was that collection gorgeous. So when I saw they were releasing a new lip gloss formula, I was really excited because if you guys have been watching my favorites videos, I believe in last month's favorites, I talked about the new Smashbox lip gloss and the Anastasia lip glosses and I talked about how much I've been loving them. It's not that lip gloss has completely replaced my liquid lipstick love because I still reach for and use my liquid lipsticks all the time, but lip gloss has just become that go-to no fuss type product. As always in my lip swatch and review videos, I will be talking about this product, the packaging. I will do full lip swatches of the entire collection. I'll give you guys a rundown on the formula and my personal opinion on it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So first and foremost, this is what the packaging of the new Jouer High Pigment Lip Glosses look like. These retail for $17 a piece. They come in 14 different colors, which is a really, really expansive shade range. There are eight different nudes in this collection, so I'm sure you guys will find a nude gloss in here that you are obsessed with. But with that being said, there are also some brights and a couple dark colors as well. The packaging of these is exactly the same as their lip toppers or their liquid lipstick lip creams, except there is a little gold band here, whereas, you know, on the lip creams and the lip toppers, it's all this kind of, I don't know, what is this? Like a gunmetal or like a dark brown or whatever, but I like the little gold line on it. I think it looks very, very luxury. Jouer claims these to be lightweight. It goes on smooth. It's fully pigmented. It is infused with jojoba oil and coconut oil. I will say that if you are the person that does not like sticky lip gloss, but likes the look of a glossy lip, but you also want something fully pigmented that your hair isn't gonna stick to that's not going to be too high maintenance you will love these the applicator on these is just the same as the lip creams and the lip toppers it's just a traditional doe foot i will say because of the viscosity of these lip glosses i mean lip gloss is in general a little bit thicker than a liquid lipstick so i do feel the need to dip back into the tube a couple times to get fully opaque color across my lips it's not difficult to build up the color these don't go on streaky or patchy it's just i find the wand doesn't hold enough to do like a one swipe all around my lips. Now with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the lip swatches so you can see all 14 of these shades swatched on my skin tone. First off, we have PCH and this is described as a warm peachy nude and I would definitely say that this shade is just a little bit too light for my skin tone and because of that, it does tend to sink into my fine lines. I think if you're light to medium skin, this will work a lot better, but it is a really pretty nude gloss. Park Ave is described as a cool muted rose, and this one, judging it from the tube, I thought it was going to be too light for my skin tone, but actually it is a true kind of bright cool toned pink that still works on a tan complexion, so I like this one a lot. Sunset is described as a warm nude rose, although I don't really see any rose in here. I would describe it as a true bright peach color. I think this is a really, really beautiful shade as well. It is a little bit brighter than my personal taste, but I think if you're in the mood for a bright peach for the summertime, this is gorgeous. Sloan is described as a warm coral nude and this shade is beautiful. This is going to be one of my go-to lip glosses for the spring and summer. This is just the perfect coral gloss for all skin tones, especially tan complexions, because it's bright, it makes a statement, but it's not too loud. It's perfect. I'm totally going to butcher this name. Is it Champely? 
it's spelled like Champs Elysses, but I know that's not how you say it. But either way, this is described as a warm chocolatey pink, and this is my perfect My Lips But Better color. This is going to be just like my go-to gloss. If I just wanna slap something on, not think about it, I don't have to use it with a liner because it's just my perfect shade. Rodeo is described as a warm medium rose, and this one is just a little bit pinker and a little bit brighter than the last shade I showed you. So this one, if you're looking for a little bit more of a statement nude, this one's perfect. Made in Lane, I can see being one of the best sellers in this collection. This is described as a warm butterscotch, and I definitely think this is going to be the most wearable nude across the board because it's that perfect medium brown toffee color, and it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just perfectly brown. Fifth Ave is described as a warm chocolate brown, and this is by far my favorite one out of the entire collection. I've literally worn this one like four or five times already. It's the one I keep picking out because it's that perfect chocolate brown for my skin tone, but it does have a little bit of like a purple plum to it, which I think makes it so unique and so versatile. I use it with so many different lip liners. I love this color. Broadway is described as a warm dark chocolate and this is the only shade out of all 14 that has some shimmer to it. This one definitely has more of a metallic finish and I really really love it. I was a little iffy about this one at first but I think on the lips it looks like a copper penny and it's so flattering and so beautiful. I love this one. Speaking of perfect summer colors, this is Shibuya which is described as a warm strawberry red and this is the absolute best red bright gorgeous lip gloss ever. I will say the texture of this one is a little bit different. It did have a little bit of like graininess to it, which almost feels like the actual red pigment is sort of separating from the base. I didn't experience that with any of the other shades. It's just this one. So I don't know if it just has something to do with the pigment. Regent is described as a cool lavender pink. And this is another beautiful one for the summertime. It is a bright, cool toned pink. So I would pull it in with a little bit of a darker or slightly warmer lip pencil just to make it a little bit more wearable for my skin tone, but it is a gorgeous shade. Beverly is described as a cool bright pink, and this is literally a true Barbie pink. When I think Barbie, this is what I think. I think this is such a pretty summertime color. It is surprisingly really wearable on my skin tone, even though it is really bright and really cool toned. Madison is described as a cool, deep, dusty mauve. And this color, mm, this is everything I love in a lip color. It's that perfect purple that's not too bright. It's not too, too dark. It's just perfectly purple. And the final shade we have is called Bond. And this is described as a cool, deep berry. And this is obviously the darkest shade in the collection. And I love it. I expected this to be streaky and patchy because I feel like dark glosses can often go on streaky. But this was so smooth, super opaque, really, really, really beautiful. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was. Speaking a little bit more about the formula of these, because they're so thin and lightweight, they don't feel greasy or oily on the lips at all. They do feel nicely nourishing. I wouldn't say they're necessarily as hydrating as a lip oil or a lip balm or anything like that, but without a doubt, they are way more hydrating than a matte liquid lipstick. The fact that these are so non-sticky is a pro and a con. The pro of that that is your hair won't stick to it. It's not going to stick to random surfaces. It's not going to be annoying or thick on the lips. But then the con to that is that these don't really hang around that long on your lips. The second you eat or drink, 
these are gonna come right off. These are a traditional lip gloss, so they're not transfer proof, they don't dry down, but they're also not supposed to. So I'm definitely not holding that against the formula. Because these are so non-sticky, I feel like they don't necessarily cling to the lips very well, which means they can tend to bleed. You can only really notice the bleeding and feathering with the darker shades, so I would 100% recommend using a lip pencil underneath them. Even though you don't need the lip pencil to boost the pigmentation because these are all just fully, fully opaque, I would recommend the lip liner to prevent feathering around the lip line. The lasting power on these isn't anything spectacular. Once again, they're a gloss. I don't think they're supposed to be spectacularly long lasting, but I can get about three hours of wear out of these. Of course, if I'm eating or drinking, I 100% will touch up. For a lip gloss, I found that these fade really evenly, even the darker shades. They don't necessarily, you know, fade on the inner portion and then leave a dark ring around your lip. I like the fading gracefully thing because when you're wearing a dark berry shade like this, you definitely don't want to look like Bozo the Clown. Overall, I really, really love these. I think if you are in the market for a new lip gloss and you want something that is fully pigmented but low maintenance and not sticky, you will love these. So yeah, that's pretty much my video for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. In case you guys didn't know yet, I did start my own makeup line called Ronnie Cosmetics. We have six lips sticks which you can shop through that link up there. I will also go ahead and put a subscribe link to my channel right down there for you. But that is everything. Thank you guys again so much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I'll see you then. Bye!